Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, we're going to look at how we can create a project soundtrack. Okay, so let's just jump straight in. First of all, we're going to need a object to attach our timeline object to, and you'll see what I mean in a sec. But uh, let's create a null, and I'm just going to name this null sound. You can name it anything you like. And now we need to get it into our timeline. So if we go up to Window, go down to Dope Sheet, it'll open up this window. I should note that I'm using R21, but this is a feature that's been in Cinema 4D for ages, so that shouldn't affect you. Anyway, moving on, grab our sound now, and we can just drag it into the timeline, and now it's in our timeline. Now we need to apply our track, if you like. So if we right-click on our null and go Add Special Tracks, and then go down to Sound, we now have this. And if we look in the um, inspector view at this and go back to basic, you'll see that we've got the name of our thing. We've got a couple of checkboxes and stuff. But we've also got a field to now place a sound file. So let's do that. I'm going to place an MP3. I should note at this point, actually, the sound formats that Cinema 4D support. So in this field, you can put WAV files, AIFFs, MP3s, M4As, and AACs. Okay, so now I've got my uh, file in there. We've got a couple of buttons here, so I can play the sound. So you should be hearing some piano there. And this button stops the sound. So that's just a way to preview it, basically. So let's go back up here, and we can actually drop this down. And you can see the waveform for the file there. I'm just going to squeeze this down so you get a better idea. So I'm going to hold Alt, right click, and then slide my mouse. And that uh, should crash this down. And then I can move it this way. I'm also going to add some time onto our timeline as well, because I've only got three seconds at the moment. So let's add 60 seconds on. There we go. Stretch that out. So this is uh, the amount of time. And you can see that our track really starts around this area. And this is what this start time is for. I can actually shift where the track begins by altering this. So let's scooch this all the way down to around here. So it really gets going around the zero mark. Rewind my uh, timeline and press play. Okay, so it's playing. We've got our sound in. Great. Now, one of the advantages of actually seeing this waveform here and again if I zoom back in let's get back to the beginning of our track and start zooming in it zooming in we've got a visual representation of our sound and when it comes to animation that can be super useful so it there's a hit there there's a hit here as well so let's have a look at that Bang. so you can really see where the beats and the snare kicks are and all that kind of thing and I just want to show you an example of what I'm talking about. I did an animation uh, way back in, I don't know, 2012. Um, I've not been using Cinema 4D long, but I made an animation, and this is exactly the method that I used to animate to. Now, it took me ages, and um, I'm, I'm sure I could do a lot better job now, but this is an example of what I'm talking about. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Now I'm just going to turn the sound off while this plays because uh, copyright strikes and whatnot. But you get the idea. You can using this um, using the timeline and the fact that we can see our waveform here. We can really um, it can really help us animate stuff uh, based on that visual representation. And if you want to go look at this video, it's on my channel. It's called Telecaster, and you can go have a look at that. Okay, let's close this down. There's something else to note before I go, um, and that's this uh, use sound checkbox. Obviously, you can see that when I hit space to play, it plays the track. And if I hit this, you can see the waveform is um, greyed out. And now when I play, um, oh, let's do that again. And now when I play in the timeline, you hear nothing. So that basically just disables the sound. Now, there is another setting that you should watch out for. If you have this on and you've got the sound file in there and all that kind of thing and 
you're still not hearing anything is probably because of a setting up here. So if you go to that animate menu, go to playback, there you've got this here, play sound. Now, as you can see, it's highlighted, so that means it's checked on. So let's check it off. Now you can see that this hasn't been grayed out, but this is a project wide setting, this. So your project will play no sound globally. So if I press play now, even though this is on, you won't hear anything because we've globally turned the sound off. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.